when I was applying for graduate schools, uh, I graduated from Syracuse. Uh, my, my dad had spent all his money sending me to school. And um, so I had to figure out how to pay for graduate school. And I went right after undergraduate school. And I applied to Yale. Uh, I applied to the University of Illinois, and I applied to the University of Iowa. Um, Yale accepted me, um, but they would give me no money until they took a look at, at who I was and what I did, and I understood that. Um, uh, Iowa would pay a fellowship, um, but that was it, and I'd have to figure out how to live. And this was before really Pell Grants, or, or I knew about Pell Grants. And Illinois was paying everything. They were paying the fellowship. Uh, they were giving me money to live on. I was a, a graduate assistant in art history. So of course, I went to Illinois. Hated it because the gentleman I went to study with was not there. Went to Iowa uh, when uh, Dr. Frank Cyberling uh, said, welcome, prodigal daughter. And I spent three uh, incredible years there. Um, I brought plates, copper plates, that I had had, uh, at, that I was working on engraving um, at Illinois into the print department at Iowa. And uh, Mauricio Lazansky watched me for two weeks, two, three weeks. As I was working, I, I worked, I'm a very hard worker. I would work uh, all night, and I'd, uh, I'm not manic, but I mean, I just worked. And I would uh, proof the plates, put them up on the wall, proof, and, and he saw what I was doing. Finally, one day, he tapped me on the shoulder, and he said, Susan, let's go for a walk. So we walked along the Iowa River that was raging out of control here a couple months ago. Um, and he said to me, um, we know you're good, but that's not what's important. What's important is how much better you will get. And he said, the reason you're here is to learn everything that you can from me, everything to add to that body of knowledge all that is special in you and then pass it on. Mm -hmm.